Well, I thought I paused the video, but it looks as if I stopped it. <laughs> Go figure. Now, yeah, I'm not uh, the best with these things. Um, but, okay, so where we left off, we had our, we took them out of the oven. Um, we wrapped them on the doil. We clothespinned them. Um, wrapped them on the doil, clothespinned them. We sprayed them. We put them in our oven um, at 260, preheated, and we sprayed them. Cooled them off for five, eh, maybe 10 minutes. Be careful of the metal pins I mentioned. They get hot. They get hot. They, you touch them, you will burn yourself. So you take them off after cooling, and this is what you get. Okay, so now you've got, now that you've got all your bows, all your colors, everything that you want to do, you're going to take your scissors. Uh, it may not be these scissors, but these are my favorite. So, and you cut them whatever sizes you like. You know, you're going to cut them, you know, this is kind of medium if you want them shorter. And honestly, I don't recommend them too short because they're not as easy to work with if they're too short. I've done that too, <laughs> unless you're doing it for a baby. You know, with a little little bowl, what you do with for big girls, you want a little bit bigger, foofier bowl. So you cut them a little bit longer. I used to measure them. I've got my little measuring thingy here, as you can see. You can measure them, or you can just, you know, you're very creative. You're a doctor. You got that artistic ability. You go with it. You just go with it, and you cut and you cut until you've got all your sizes. I think I can usually get about four or five pieces off of one cut. So I've got my bows here. I mean my, yep, my ribbon, sorry. And so two things now, now that you've got your ribbon all cut out, your colors cut out, you can do it two different ways. Um, they've got this thing called Bodabra, okay? And I know this is backwards, this is really killing me. Um, but it's a designer bow maker and it's supposed to be really quick and easy to make bows. I got this after the fact because I wanted to see how it worked. Um, it's okay. Um, but it's not the best, but I'm going to quickly show you how it works. Okay. So bow dabra, you've got two pieces to it. Kind of cheesy, I think, but I mean, depends on what you like. You might like cheesy. And I think you have to buy these separate. When you buy the Bodabra, I think there's a couple of pieces that come inside of it. But this is kind of like a little bit of um, bow wire. And you can buy this separately too. You can go to the Joann's or wherever and buy bow wire. It doesn't have to be this. But I bought this separate. It's called bow wire because I used all the other up. But actually, oh, I did. There's them in here. So you're going to take some bow wire, actually I need a longer piece, uh, that's not long enough, OMG, <laughs> this is the best, this is the best, I haven't used it in a while, look at that, <laughs> oh my god, okay so anyway, you cut the bow wire, they say about 18 inches or something like that, but you know, you get to play around with this and see what you like. So, you're going to drop this right down in there. Do you see what I did? I'm gonna take that ribbon. You got this end, and you got that end. It's open. That end, that's not. And you're going to do it the long way. <laughs> You're going to do it the long way in there, okay? Just a long way. And then you take your ribbon, you drop it down. I'm going to move this camera so you can, we can try and see what I'm doing here. So you take your ribbon and you push down in between. And you take your next ribbon, kind of put it at an angle. And see why it's nice to have them a little bit longer. See? 
And then you're going to do another one this way. Try and hold this thing with one hand. It's not easy. Okay, so you got the idea. And then once you're done, let's say these are it's nice and fluffy just the way you like it. You know, they're in there. Okay, so now I'm going to put the camera back down. Upside down trip. So now <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to take this end that's open, this end that's open, and you're going to cross. Oh, you can see it here, I think. You're going to take the open end and you're going to push it through the open end like that. I mean, take the open end, put it through the closed end, and you're going to pull, and you're going to pull it right up. And you see what you got? You tighten it up. You tighten it up as good as you can get it. And you see how that happens. The corker bows are kind of erratic. They're not symmetrical. They're not, there's no, kind of like no rhyme or reason. They're just there. So you just pull it tight. You pull it tight right underneath. And then once you get it <clears throat> where you want, you adjust and move it around. Make it fluffy however you want. You're going to take the bottom and you're going to cut it. And that's uh, your bow. Okay. <clears throat> this video has turned out to be a little bit longer than I expected. <laughs> Which is fine. I don't care. It's fine by me. All right. So there we are. Say we've got our bow. Yay. <gasps> cool. Right. Okay. So we got that. My favorite way of doing this <clears throat> is a little bit different. <clears throat> Your sewing needle. I threaded it. I got my nice big knot on the bottom. Can you see that? My sewing needle. And if you can, get a nice long sewing needle. This is, I don't know how many inches this is, but it's, it's nice. From the eye to the tip of it, it's about two inches. Okay. And what I've done is I'm going to grab a bunch of strange ribbon, nothing special. <clears throat> and so, say for instance, just like before, you got all your ribbons, all your colors. You're going to take one. You're going to find the middle. You're going to find the side, wherever you want that to be, hopefully in the middle. You're going to push it through. And you're going to push it through your second one. All trial and error. They're not going to be, don't get upset if one's crooked or one's longer than one side of the other. You make up for the next, you put the next one on and make up for it. <clears throat> and you got another piece of ribbon here. And, okay, it looks a little strange. It's coming together. This one's coming together nicely. Okay. You just keep going till you get a nice full of these pieces. As you can see, these are some of my longer pieces that I've got here. They're all on this pin, all on this uh, sewing needle. You see, I still got my bottom. So I'm going to push through. Say, for an example, I've got all the bows, I mean, all the ribbon I want on there. I'm completely satisfied the way it looks. <clears throat> but remember, you want to be able to hold this comfortably underneath as you stack those ribbons on there. So when you get to the top, you can push down so far. You can see my needle is there. Just be careful. Push down so far. Okay. When you get to the point where they're starting to bounce and fly off, uh, you might want to call it quits. And then you're going to push that needle at the bottom part through and you're going to push down like this. See my knot's gone. <clears throat> And then I turn it over. <clears throat> I find where my knot is. Keep it all. They'll get entangled. It's like, just play with it. That's what it's about. Keep it taut. And then watch your fingers. You can use a thimble if you'd like. I have one. Uh, I don't always use it. I like to live on the edge. <laughs> you're going to go from that top to bottom and push it through. And you're going to go through. And then you're going to go through again. 
as best you can, try to stay in the same spot. Okay? But make sure as you're doing this, you're adjusting your ribbon to where you want them to be. Because once you get them through there and you tie this off, you will not be able to move them. Okay? So, yeah, I'm just playing around because they are all curling up on each other. You think the Bodabra is easier, right? I don't like the Bodabra. I like this because I know how this is going to turn out because I put them where I want them to be. The Bodabra kind of makes you go in certain directions and some you can't actually go where here you can. So once you're done and you got them where you want, say this is what I want, even though this is not what I want, <laughs> you're going to take your, whoops, And take your sewing needle and you're going to go through your bottom and you're going to loop and you're going to go through it and you're going to go through it again and you know what the heck let's go through it again that's going to be your knot and it's tight there cut it done here's my bow There's my bow, even though this is a hot <laughs> royal mess. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, okay, two ways, okay? And then now you wanna make your clip. So you're gonna take a piece of ribbon. You know, for example, this one's got multiple colors. If you have one that's like colorful and have multiple colors, you can take whatever color you want um, to make your clip with. And I did not grab a clip, did I? Darn it. Yeah, wouldn't you know it? I don't have a clip. And these, I will show you, are some that I did with, of course, with my... Uh, my little sewing method here. Got multiple colors. They're cute. They're really small. I made these for my nieces. They're really small because they're small. <laughs> and green. And this one I did with the um, Bodabra. I found one. As you can see here. You see the difference between the Bodabra. They just, they don't turn out the same. Um, I'm going to end this because this is getting like really, really long, Dr. Well, I don't know if you want to see all this, but, um, I will bring a clip and some ribbon to work and I'll show you that. I know you'd like to see things. So example, you want your ribbon and I thought I had. This one's a little bit different that I made, but it has a really big clip with all that on it. I have to show you that one too at a later date. That's a little bit different. I don't have any clips. Okay. Well, I don't have any clips. I'll bring them to work. Um, I do want to show you my cheesy little glue bones here that are a real hot mess. Yeah. This one is just like a really small one. I think I paid like $4.99 for it at um, Joann's. And it's the basic glue gun, glue stick. And it's been through a lot. Yeah. And in all honesty, so has this one. Look at it. And I use this because for some reason, it doesn't matter what I do, stand it up, lay it down, it drips out. And they get really hot. You will burn yourself. So I'm going to bring one of these little sad little glue guns to work with me along with a piece of ribbon and the other clip. And I'll show you how I do that. Okay. All right. Um, sorry it took so long. This is a really long video. I don't know if you'll be able to watch all this, but I'll leave it up to you. Okay. All right. So I'll see you this morning. All right. Bye.